Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. Welcome back. You see it, we all see it. In trees, against fences, floating in lakes, talking about trash drifting on strong March winds in the form of plastic bags or pieces of paper. Galen Culver, though, has the story of a Norman man who came up with a solution, a device that keeps your trash lid tightly shut. It's a once a week job every homeowner faces. Tony Chapman is one of millions who take their recyclables and their trash receptacles to the curb. This is it, yep. To wait for pickup, hoping the lid doesn't blow off in the wind or tip over altogether. Where does the loose garbage kind of blow to? In the trees? In the trees, everywhere, along the fence lines, um, typically in my neighbor's yard or their, yeah. their trash comes to me. He's lived in some pretty windy places. I have Chicago, uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and of course here, and this is the windiest place I've lived. And he's seen neighbors resorting to caveman measures to keep the trash lid on tight. I was driving down the street one day and I saw a cinder block on the top of a garbage can. What sets Tony apart was that he thought he could do a little better. Once I designed it. So he sat down at his workbench one day and sketched out a quick design. Kind of hit me like a ton of bricks, <laughs> literally. Four years later, he had something he's pretty sure he could get a patent on, something he calls the heavy handle. I've designed the handle to where it won't let the lid up unless you do this yourself. When the sanitation trucks come by and the hoist tips over to empty it, the latch comes free. It picks it up in the air and it tilts it forward to let the lid come forward. Tony put the first heavy handles on his own cans a couple of years back and they work every time. He did experiment with materials and settled on some solid steel screws and rods he could buy locally and put together in his garage. He made a hundred of them over spring break. Now the heavy handle, he says, is ready to hit the market. I'm so excited about it. Well, maybe we can blow the lid off this thing. You know what? That sounds like a great idea. Let's do that. In Norman, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? Kevin Ogle, myself, and Aaron Brackett all said, what a great idea. <laughs> Why time. didn't we think of that? Tony and his heavy handle product will introduce themselves to the marketplace this week at the annual Oklahoma Solid Waste Association meeting in Tulsa. That conference starts Tuesday, and the heavy handle will have a display on hand for experts and the public to check out.